All right, so see now you know this is like reality TV because this is part two. We got moved from one makeup green room to the next green room. Um, so we were talking to Denise about you know you posting your question to come on CBS Early Show. Denise's situation. Tell me your situation real quick. Obviously, we're gonna get to watch on the TV show. What made you reach out to me? Um, well, my husband and I are feeling kind of frustrated because we make our mortgage payments on time. We have income. We have great jobs that we love. And but we're getting advice from all sides to say refinance, refinance into a fixed thirty-year mortgage. We currently have a seven-year arm. And tell everybody what your rate is. Uh, Five point seven five percent on the first mortgage. So if we refinance the first mortgage, we don't qualify for a very low rate because our loan to debt ratio is poor. So we would qualify for more like six point five percent, and that would increase our monthly mortgage payments. <laughs> so your monthly mortgage payments, as you told me on the phone last night, would go up by seven hundred dollars a month. Yes. And that also doesn't include co closing costs. That's and the right. closing costs would have wiped out your emergency account. That's right. So Which we're trying hard to build, and it's small, and yeah. I, I want to hang on to it. So what I did for her, and you can do this too at home, is I just basically did the math really quick. But I asked her some really critical questions. The first question I asked was, when is your mortgage adjusting? Mm -hmm. And it's not adjusting until 2014. So the important thing right now is that Denise doesn't actually have a problem, because you've got four more years of low mortgage payments. You've got a very low rate, still still a great rate, 5.75%. And I just took out a calculator and ran the numbers and said, you know what, it's going to cost you $700 extra a month to actually refinance, lock in this rate for 30 years. Over the next four years, including closing costs, you're nearly $40,000 in additional money for the peace of mind of refinancing and locking in a rate for 30 years. So my advice to her was actually to not refinance right now, to enjoy per four-year adjustable rate mortgage. We don't know if rates will be higher in four years. They could be. But it's not worth, in my opinion, it's not worth you losing your emergency account, spending an extra $700 a month, which would make it tight for you. Very, very tight. And, you know, the other thing is, if you're, as I said to you in the other green room, if you're really paranoid and you really want to, like, make, you know, prepare yourself for the potential emergency of rates going higher in four years, you could take the extra $700 a month and you could put it into an emergency account four years from now you'll have forty thousand dollars in savings and there you go there's your extra money to make the higher payments um, so the moral of Denise's story which I think I was able to give you the answer to in about literally three minutes on the phone um, was you don't need to rush to refinance and you can stop panicking and you'd spend like five weeks on this yes <laughs> um, and, and here's what's interesting I, I got off the phone with you and I actually talked to an, an editor I won't out him right now but he's an editor of one of the largest financial websites and he's refinancing and I, the question I asked him was the same question I asked you. You didn't have the answer to it. Believe it or not, he didn't have the answer to it. The question I asked you is when your rate adjusts, mm -hmm. what does it adjust to? Is it adjust to LIBOR? Does it adjust mm -hmm. to Treasuries? And you actually didn't know the answer. I didn't. I had to look it up. What was it? LIBOR. Okay. It, it adjusts LIBOR. LIBOR index. So here's the key. When you have an adjustable rate mortgage, it adjusts to an index. But right now, if, she, if her mortgage adjusted to LIBOR, did you read what over LIBOR it is? Because there's always a... It's either 1% or 2%. Yes, or two. it was, I what think, is 2%. It? Okay, but so. no greater than a total of 10%. Okay, so if her mortgage actually adjusted right now, you would be paying like 2.5%. <laughs> now, did you just get that? So if everything, if, if she just kept her mortgage and it actually adjusted today, her rate would be 2.5%. My father's mortgage just adjusted on an arm. He didn't refinance it, and he's paying like 2 and a quarter. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I mean, it's, you know, sometimes these things actually work out in our favor, and my other friend who's the editor of the website that we won't out him on, he's refinancing and same thing, he's in a rush to refinance and I asked him the same question, well why do you need to refinance, why don't you just let it adjust and see what it's at, uh, and he didn't know the answer. So, real important, if you've got an ARM mortgage right now, go look and see what does your mortgage adjust to and how much over the rate is it, but um, anyway, so fun to have you here, fun for you to be watching, this was a longer video today, but again we're experimenting, so let us know if you're enjoying these posts and uh, stay in touch with us, we'll talk to you soon, nice to have you here. Thank you. Say goodbye, say hello to your daughter. Your... Bye, oh, hello to my husband and to my two daughters. My one daughter turned one year old yesterday, and I miss them. <laughs> the pictures are so cute. <laughs> All right, be well.